This is just Lori from paperthreads.com and I'm showing you how to paint with Copic markers my little ballet dancer. This is the third video so stay with me and we'll finish her up right now. The last one we did the skirt, the first one we did we worked on skin tone. This one we're going to finish up with the last details of the skin, put on her little shoes and then she's going to be done. So. Let's start out with, let's get some little shoes on her. I'm going to use um, an RV02 marker for that. And for this, we're going to go right across the tip of the toes, just like that. And then, and then bring it down. Now, there's the thing about working with the die cuts is that you don't have to stay in the lines. Not only do you not have to stay in the lines, but you can get some interesting darks by following the edge of the die cut and just letting a little bit of ink bleed in. You notice I did that with, with this these little slippers. I'm not sure I like that color, so we're going to try with a, a slightly deeper pink, which is going to be my RV21. Let's see if I can get that. Now I'm just letting it bleed just along. Now you st it's very subtle. I like this one. This is a lot more subtle. So I'm, I'm running it just along the edge of the die cut, but mostly the ink is going onto the paper. You see where it's bleeding on the paper, not into the thing, into the, into the die cut. Now let's do her other slipper. This is more of a, a face one. Okay, so that's going to be this slipper here. So once again, I'm going to go straight across like that. And we're going to just slide that up like that. Make a little little point. We'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. And to get the, the deeps on the bottom of the slipper, we'll be using RV21 again running it just along the paper, the background paper, to get that deep. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit less. I think it was because the, the other one was a little bit wet. Okay, now, the one thing about the ballet slippers, and this is, I'm skipping around on these markers, is that they have the little crisscross, so let's do a couple of crisscrosses. One, two, three, four. Just, just random. One, whoops, let me make that a little. Two, three, four. And there are her slippers. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to darken up her area around her eyes a little bit. This is kind of, I don't know why I keep doing it at the end, but we just want to have it just a little bit darker. Under her nose, just a little bit. Under, under her chin, just a little bit. And the back of her neck. Coming down, we'll just get these highlights going. This is a disturbing area here. I'm going to just kind of bring it up. I'm going to leave, I want to leave the area around the forehead and on the top of the nose pretty clear. A little bit more in here to darken it. Okay. That's as much, oh, that's a little bit too light. Okay. Just darken this once more down here. That gives her a nice, lovely long neck. Okay. Now, the final bit, the eyeball. Gosh, I really don't like doing this eyeball here. Now, just we're just going to just a tiny dot. I know, if I had glasses on, I'd take them off. Just in here, just right here, just a tiny dot. And that's, that's it. That's all I want right there, just a tiny dot. Okay, I'm going to take my white marker. I like these white markers. I, sometimes I need a little priming. I'm going to put a little highlight just, just 
just a little bit in her hair, a little bit there. Um, where else did I highlight? I highlighted her shoes. A little there. A little there. And I'm going to put a gold ribbon in her hair. And I think that she is done. And there she be. And here's my other little lady. Now on this one I had some highlights going on here. That's You can put those in or not. I think I kind of like it without. I hope you enjoyed these three little video clips. And I hope that if you if you buy my file, well, I hope you buy my file, that um, you enjoy painting her. As you can see, it's not that difficult. This is just Lori from paperthreads.com. Have a great day.